Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Myopia Podcast. Today, we're joined by one Carlos Aragon, and we're going to be speaking about Cooper Vision's stance on myopia management. Welcome to the Myopia Podcast, where we give you the latest myopia research, clinical topics, and industry insights. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all awesome myopia content. And now to our host, a massive myopia manager himself, Dr. David Kading. Well, thank you again for joining us for this episode of the Myopia Podcast. We are uh, excited to have Juan Carlos Aragon be joining us. Uh, Juan Carlos is with uh, with Cooper Vision, and uh, it's awesome to have you on the Myopia Podcast. It's a pleasure being here, David, and thanks for the invitation. Absolutely. I've been an admirer of the things that you've done in, in companies over the years. And uh, why don't you give uh, those people who may not know your full background a little bit of the history of how you got into the eye space. And um, uh, it's, it's a pretty interesting history of how you've uh, navigated through our profession. Yeah, navigated is the right word, I think. And no, it is no. a long history. I've been around uh, for a long time. Uh, I'm actually an optometrist by training, uh-huh. although I haven't practiced optometry in a very, very long time. I've spent the um, the past 38 years working with the with the contact lens industry primarily. Um, started uh, with, with Bausch & Lomb back in the day. Uh, and, and from there, uh, went to uh, to Seba Vision. Uh, now part of Alcon, so mm-hmm. worked uh, eight years with each one of those companies in, in professional affairs roles uh, and in business management roles. Uh, and then I joined uh, Ocular Sciences back in, in the year 2000. Um, mm-hmm. Ocular Sciences was uh, acquired by Cooper Vision in 2004, 2005. That's how I came to Cooper Vision. So I've been with Cooper Vision, including the four years of ocular sciences for uh, 22 years, uh, done a little bit of, of everything, uh, international marketing, uh, ran uh, the business in Latin America, ran the business for Cooper Vision in the Asia Pacific uh, region, uh, spent some time uh, running Southern and Central Eastern Europe for, for Cooper. And then about five years ago, um, uh, I was asked to come back to the U.S. after having lived in, in Spain for a few years to start the uh, specialty eye care business, our specialty contact lens business uh, here in Arizona. I moved to the Phoenix area uh, exactly five years ago uh, to um, to start our, our specialty eye care business, which um, primarily focuses on, on myopia, myopia management, myopia control, uh, and irregular corneas. So, so that's my my a very summarized view uh, of of my history within the eye care business. Thirty eight years, um, optometry school before that. Uh, so my entire life has been in this space. I love that this is uh, by far the most substantial role that you have had, and you didn't even choose to come to this company. They just acquired you, and they got you along with Ocular Sciences, and as uh, just one of the, uh, the the major assets that they acquired yeah, with uh, with right, IC. Right, right place, right, right time, right. So yeah, Cooper, yeah. Cooper Vision, and Ocular Sciences were uh, competitors, but also very complimentary. Uh, mm-hmm. and, uh, so that was a, a very good marriage, uh, a long time ago now, uh, 19 years ago, uh, almost 19 years ago, but, uh, it's worked out very well. So underneath the umbrella of specialty, uh, specialty out here, specialty lenses and so forth, what are some names that we may be familiar with, uh, that you're kind of overseeing and, and helping that team with? Well, primarily it's in the area of, of orthokeratology lenses and scleral contact lenses. So those are two mm-hmm. main pillars of, of, the, um, of, of the specialty eye care business unit, specifically in the ortho case space, the uh, Paragon CRT product, uh, which is the, uh, the world's uh, you know, best known ortho K lens, very strong presence um, in North America, a very strong presence in, in China, strong presence also in Europe, uh, you know, the, the leader, the pioneer in, in this space uh, for, for orthokeratology. In Europe, uh, also in China, the uh, Procornia brand, which is um, 
um, manufactured by a company that we acquired uh, based out of the Netherlands, Pro Cornea. Mm -hmm. So that's the Dreamlight product, um, a leading product in Europe and also a very strong presence in, in China. Um, so Ch China is critically important for us in the myopia space. Uh, Ortho-K is the uh, number one modality for myopia management uh, in China. Uh, and um, the acquisition of uh, Paragon uh, and uh, Procornia, both in 2017, was driven not only by the presence in their domestic markets, Europe and, and North America, but also in China, where uh, both companies had uh, the corresponding licenses that is required to sell these lenses in that market. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's been, you know, very successful so, so far, you know, so, you know, very good. Um, we also entered the, the, um, the scleral lens space with the acquisition of Blanchard contact lenses, mm -hmm. uh, back in 2018, 2019 with the one fit, um, uh, scleral lens for, for irregular cornea for, for marginal dry eye. Uh, and so that's, that's the other, uh, pillar of, of the business. And, more recently, David, we acquired Synergize yeah. um, based in uh, Carlsbad, California. Uh, Synergize, of course, their claim to fame are the hybrid contact lenses, also for irregular cornea. So we are now uh, integrating uh, the Synergize organization into a specialty eye care uh, in, in North America primarily. So uh, that gives us a even broader portfolio of lenses for irregular cornea, scleral, and uh, hybrids, uh, and of course, complementing what we have in the ortho case space. Yeah. So those yeah. are our, our primary products. Yeah. So um, you're not new to myopia management by any means. Uh, share with us a little bit of uh, of of, of your history and things that you've worked with over the years with regards to myopia management and uh, and uh, you've you've been very instrumental in our industry with regards to bringing myopia management to the forefront as well, which we appreciate yeah. by the way. Well, no, our pleasure and our our obligation. You know, for, you know, firstly on on a personal basis, I'm not new to myopia. Uh, no. I've been a I've been a myop since I was 13 years old. Okay. Uh, so I'm very myopic. I'm a minus 750. Mm. Uh, very happy uh, contact lens wearer my entire life. Uh, and uh, as as Cooper Vision, you know, we we started looking at uh, at this space uh, back in 20, 2013, 2014, uh, even before that. Um, you know, that led to the development of, of MySight, uh, the, mm -hmm. the first and only, uh, you know, contact lens uh, uh, with the FDA indication for slowing down the progression of myopia in children from age 8 to 12 at the initiation of treatment. It's also the first uh, product of any type in China that received the regulatory approval for uh, slowing down the growth of, of the eye. Uh, of the of the axial length of, of the eye, so you know obviously my site has you know that that the endorsement by, by the FDA in the U.S. and yeah. the NMPA in, in China for um, for myopia control for myopia management, um, and um, you know that that is uh, probably our our best known product uh, you know available uh, I think it's like in forty plus markets worldwide today, including China. Uh, and of course, the U.S. and Western Europe and more and more countries are being added uh, to the list of those where the product is being made available. Um, again, the acquisition of Procornia and Paragon and GP Specialist. I forgot to mention GP Specialist also in yep. the ortho, ortho case space gives us the, the broadest range of orthokeratology lenses uh, for myopia management in the industry. Uh, but it goes beyond contact lenses, David. We... Um, um, several years ago now, we, we invested in a um, Silicon Valley startup company uh, called Sight Glass Vision. Yep. Uh, they were uh, developing uh, novel technology uh, for spectacle lenses. Uh, so we, um, we, we invested money in that business, which allowed Sight Glass Vision to um, 
go through the clinical development of, of their technology. Um, ultimately, uh, we agreed uh, to enter into a joint venture with Essilor Luxottica uh, to commercialize the Cyclats Vision product. The product uh, has been launched um, has been launched in, in China uh, by by Essilor Luxottica. Has been launched in Israel. Has been launched in the Netherlands and on a limited basis in some uh, other countries in Europe. Has been launched on a limited basis in in Canada. So we're gradually uh, expanding the commercial availability of, of the uh, dot technology uh, spectacle lens yeah. uh, well, developed uh, again by uh, by Cyclas Vision. And our commitment to myopia you know, continues. We obviously are involved with, with many new initiatives, um, new technologies in all of these spaces. Uh, and we are you know, absolutely, as a company, we are committed to myopia control, to myopia management. You know, everyone knows uh, the importance of, of, of this commitment. Um, we're also involved in, in category development mm -hmm. uh, you know, with, um, you know, the Global Myopia Awareness Coalition, GMAC. Yep. Um, we are a founding member of GMAC. Yeah. Uh, we're, you know, along, you know, our partners within the industry, both, you know, contact lenses, spectacle lenses, instrumentation, atropine, we're all working together on trying to increase the awareness of the risks of, of pediatric myopia with the general population. So definitely, yeah. David, it's a commitment uh, by, by the company, but we've only, we've only just begun. You know, this is yeah. a long-term initiative, long-term investment, and uh, our commitment is, um, is unequivocal. Well, it's uh, it's it's quite obvious because of the range of products and the range of uh, of development that is happening within Cooper Vision that myopia is a major uh, major player. Now, I'm going to uh, come at you with a question that I think many people in the orthokeratology world uh, has, and and that is. Um, it is. It has appeared in some ways to me with Cooper Vision's acquisition of Paragon that the messaging around myopia management with orthokeratology is obviously not as strong of a message as it may be with my site. And I can understand that from a regulatory standpoint because there doesn't have FDA approval. Um, is that something that is talked about? Is this is the equal component of it? Obviously. Orthokeratology is number one in China, but my site obviously is coming out very strong in the United States. And, and those of us in the US who've been doing orthokeratology for a long time may be like, hey, wait a second, what about Paragon CRT from Cooper Vision, right? Where, where is that and in fit into it? Is that conversation something that corporately is, is kind of discussed? And how do you remedy that? Yeah, ju just to clarify, CRT. Um, as a product, has the FDA approval for overnight wear. Yep. So and for myopia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was. Um, it, it was the first product uh, approved exactly twenty years ago. Actually, yep. twenty one now. Twenty one. Yeah. <laughs> we 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 just celebrated at the Academy of Optometry meeting the twentieth anniversary of the FDA approval of of CRT. Which what catapulted orthokeratology created in the category. so many ways. Yeah, yeah, created the category. What we don't have, uh, and no one has, is the FDA approval for myopia control. Right. Uh, so no product on the market in the U.S., orthokeratology, is approved by the FDA for myopia control. The, the indication, uh, somewhat subjective, of myopia management is the umbrella under which, you know, Cooper Vision and other companies within the orthokeratology space commercialize the product. Um, so not having the indication for myopia control uh, definitely limits the industry's ability, not just Cooper Vision, the industry's ability to invest in the promotion of these products, primarily as it relates to communicating with the general public, with the parents of the children. Having the FDA approval 
of the indication is, you know, gives parents another indication that the product is safe and effective. Not, right. not that Ortho-K is not safe and effective, but we don't have the myopia control indication approved. No yeah. one does. Yeah. Uh, and and, and it's, it's a discussion that we have internally, uh, not just within Cooper Vision, but it's a discussion that we have within the industry with our peers um, as, as a challenge that we have as we try to uh, continue to grow uh, the market. Having yeah. said that, um, Ortho-K still is a very popular uh, mechanism for slowing down the progression of myopia. Um, you know, ECPs like you and many others uh, love the convenience of Ortho-K, especially the fact that, you know, kids can go to school without any lens in their eye. Juan uh, Carlos, that, I have to interrupt you. That's the yeah. number one reason yeah. that I prefer yeah. orthokeratology over other modalities, right? That's what we have hear. control. Yep. They have control and, and we believe, and this is anecdotal, David, so I don't want to get into trouble, but we believe that as it relates to <laughs> compliance, um, orthokeratology probably leads the, the, the segment as the most compliant uh, modality because parents know kids go to school with uh, their go to sleep I'm sorry with their ortho K lenses you know in the eye wake up lenses are removed kids go to school or if it's you know summer holidays they do whatever they do in holidays and and, and the the treatment is working um, with with soft contact lenses you know we believe that my site is extremely compliant because again kids go to school, with their lenses on uh, and they need those lenses not only for myopic control that they need so they need those lenses for yeah. vision correction to see, to, mm -hmm. to see. so you know, that, that ensures compliance uh, we're not sure yet about the compliance with spectacle lenses uh, as i mentioned before you know I, i'm a myop since age 13. i was prescribed by an optometrist with my first pair of spectacles when i was 13. I did not use those spectacles that much when I went the way to school. <laughs> they got in the way. Uh -huh. uh, so, so, you know, definitely contact lenses, I believe, again, this is my belief, um, ensure greater compliance than other modalities for, uh, yeah. for myopia. Especially myopia those management. low myopes, right? Yep. And, yeah. and that's really where we want to start myopia control and really pound it in, right? Once it's yeah. six, seven, eight, nine, or 10, we still want to slow it down. But, you know, I, I, I appreciate your perspective on the, the, the coming at you with the ortho K versus the other ones, uh, the other treatments that are out there. And I think it's so important for people to realize that once Paragon was acquired by Cooper Vision, that messaging in some ways had to change because of the uh because of the largeness of cooper vision and all of the things that were there there was a, a a greater optic on them with regards to can we talk about myopia control um and i think what some people thought was oh they're just going to start talking about my site and shut out this other message and really it wasn't it wasn't anything like that it was it was really hey we can talk about myopia management and control with my site but we are only allowed in certain ways to talk about it. And both of those things kind of happened at the same time. And so it, it may have seemed to some people like Cooper was shutting down the ortho K world as my site came out. And that's in no, no ways what no, happened. No, not at all. And we have actually um, currently, um, you know, fully dedicated teams that focus on ortho K and, uh, Paragon CRG mm -hmm. and and IC from from GP specialist, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we have a separate team that focuses on on my site. Yeah, so uh, yeah, they're both modalities are are very important for us uh, as a company. Uh, both modalities are very important for uh, our customers, our our ECPs, yeah. as they are for for parents. Uh, uh, obviously, you know the convenience of a daily disposable contact lens um tough to match uh so uh, we we do see that the future growth of of myopia control myopia management with contact lenses uh in the u.s uh will probably come more from my site than it will from from ortho k 
uh, again, that's that's the U.S. Uh, it's it's the opposite in China. Yeah. Uh, by, by far, yeah. orthokeratology is the preferred modality uh, in the Chinese uh, in the Chinese marketplace. And, so markets and I, are different. Yeah, yeah, and they and they drive tra- products. But I think that when we look to Cooper Vision for what you're doing, your testament towards this modality is is obviously or with your acquisition of multiple different products. You know. Paragon CRT is able to encompass a substantial percentage of those patients, but GP specialists, they, they really have kind of said, hey, we're going to take these, like, we have a good solid lens as it is, but we're going to take the fringe areas, those torics and those high myopes, yeah. and we're going to be able to help with that. And you really kind of worked to complete that circle of, uh, yeah. of orthokeratology with that acquisition. That's, that's right. The acquisition of, of GP specialists, you know, Mark, Mark Cosgrove's company, um, you know, truly an expert in, in customization of, of orthokeratology yeah. designs. As, as we tend to communicate the message, maybe somewhat oversimplified, but, you know, CRT, um, you know, is, is a fantastic design. It's, it's easy to fit that it, the, you know, fits, within the scope of most ECP's practices. It does what it's supposed to do. We have, of course, you know, the CRT, CRT dual axis, the, the smaller, you know, treatment zone, the five millimeter treatment zone. But if you want a, a higher degree of, of customization in your design, you go to GP specialists. They'll make whatever you need. Uh, and, and for those advanced ortho K fitters, uh, GP specialist offers that level of expertise from a clinical and manufacturing perspective that we do not offer with CRT. Yeah. CRT, we have a range of products, predetermined range of, 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 of SKUs of parameters. Uh, yeah. Whereas with, with IC from, from GP specialist, you know, what do you need, doctor? We'll yeah, try to give you customized. Yeah. yeah. Customized. So, yeah. so um, uh, as much as you can speak, can you share with us what, Cooper Vision sees in the next five years and 10 years in the myopia space. What, what are you excited about as, you know, as, as a senior level person at Cooper uh, for the industry, as well as for, for Cooper Vision in the myopia space? Again, we're, we're just beginning, you know, the, this is, yeah. this is, you know, this is a public health challenge, right? So we're, we're happy because it is a business opportunity. But at the same time, we're dealing with a serious healthcare issue. So it, it is concerning uh, that still ECPs in the US and in other markets have not necessarily embraced myopia management, myopia control as much as we think they should. You know, there should it should be the standard of care uh, for, for um, you know, pediatric uh, myopia. Simply correcting vision is clearly not enough. Uh, and we've been working with organizations around the world, uh, most visibly with the World Council of Optometry, to convey the importance of ECPs worldwide, including the U.S., to embrace myopia management as part of their standard of care. Um, yeah. So, so, and the, we talked about the GMAC already and other organizations that we're partnering with to expand the message of the importance of doing something about it. Um, yeah. So th- that's a huge investment resources time uh, in, in that area. And of course we need the products, you know, that we, we talk about ortho K and my site and you know, we're, we're not just content with what we have, right? We we're investing significant amount of resources on optimizing designs, optimizing materials in both rigid gas permeable and soft lenses uh, for for myopia management. We talked about um, uh, Cyclast Vision as a, as a joint uh, venture that we have with with Essilor Luxotica. Uh, you know that has tremendous potential um, for the next five years. You know the, this segment of the market will continue to grow. Everyone knows the. Uh, Fifty percent of the world's population will be myopic in the year 2050. Well, 2050 is not that far away, uh, and uh, and as as it is right now, a very large percentage of the global population is myopic. Yeah. We need to do something about it, David. Appreciate your help uh, with with this initiative to spread the word. Um, 
Myopia is a disease. It's a serious disease. Uh, and we need to act as an industry, uh, as a profession. And as it relates to optometry specifically, this is optometry's calling. Optometry needs to you know, take the leadership on myopia management in countries where optometry exists, you know, as we know it in North America. Yeah. And um, so I, I'm, we're, we're encouraged. We're, we're seeing more and more colleagues getting involved with myopia management but it probably has been a little bit slower than expected. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we will continue to invest on making sure that um, we see the needle starting to move in the right direction. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we, we just have to make it mainstream. That's the, we do. That's, that's the concept. I, when we appreciate um, Cooper Vision's stance on this from so many perspectives, from the uh, educational stand, you guys are taking and bringing about products, which, uh, you know, are, are not, are not popular when you launch them, right? That's the thing is like, you know, my site was myopia management's not a big deal in America yet. And, and so, but you launched it anyway to try to drive the, drive the market, not just for the business potential, but obviously to be uh, making uh, an impact on the public health side of things. So we appreciate uh, your overall uh, leadership in this direction. And we're really excited for, uh, what Cooper's uh, to bring to us in the coming years. Great. It's yeah. our obligation, David. It really is our yeah. obligation. I love yeah. that you put it that way. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, Juan Carlos. It was awesome to see you. Awesome to hang out with you. And uh, thanks for being part of the show. No, David, thanks for the opportunity and uh, looking forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Take yeah, care. Absolutely. And thank you for joining us for this episode of the Myopia podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe, share with some of your friends. And uh, let's hit make myopia matter in a more substantial way in this coming year. Thank you. One, two, three, Thank you for tuning in to the Myopia Podcast. If you enjoy our content, please leave a five-star review. And don't forget to subscribe for more great episodes.